Hello, it's Celeste here and welcome to A Crafter's Story. I'm so happy to be here with you and thank you for joining me. So one of the things that I <clears throat> do a lot of is I'll start something and then I'll think, oh, what about this? It's like a, <laughs> it's like a puppy. I don't have a very, very wide attention span. Um, I'm usually just in the moment, but <clears throat> I'm easily distracted. And so I decided maybe in an effort to rein myself in, I will just make pages for journals and make a whole bunch of them, right? And um, then I can decide at a later stage what I want to do with that. Do I, which journal do I want to put it into? <clears throat> do I put lined pages here? Do I stick something on here? So I've been working on that. And one of the pages that I pulled out the other day that caught my eye was this one with this pretty pocket. And I thought, oh, I forgot about that. I can make the, a whole bunch of these and just put them in my stash and then just, you know, pull them out as I need. Um, <clears throat> this was a, a happy accident, really. I put my, my crafter story behind this very steampunk, very aged look pocket is that I bought some cardstock and I love the colors, but I didn't realize when I got home how bright they were. And I thought, oh, I don't know. I, that, it's not my style. This is too bright. I, I can't, I don't know. And so I got, I, I put them one side. I didn't do anything with them. And this, the green was there. There's yellow. There was a, a psychedelic pink, you guys. Oh my gosh, that was so pink. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to set this aside just for a second because we're going to complete these a little later together. Uh, where can I put this? Oh, on the floor. Hold on a second. And there we go. And so I, out of being irritated with myself for not thinking past my nose, I scrunched the one page up and I I was about to throw it in the trash when I thought, no, wait just a second. And I smoothed it back out and put some coffee over it. And this is this is the result of my, of my little temper tantrum. <laughs> so let me show you what I did. Or, or a little more controlled version of what we can do with these very, very bright papers. So I'm going to really fold it almost like a concertina fold. And this very first fold, this very triangular first fold, the size of it is going to determine how big all the other folds are. And so this, I'm going to go a little quicker, which means I'm probably going to have skew folds. I'm sorry about that, but... Let's see if I can do this a little quicker. So once you've got it all folded, and you really want to squish them down, really get some good folds in there, some real, real healthy creases everywhere. I'm going to open this back up. And then I'm going to repeat what I did on, on the, the previous fold. So where is it? And, oh gosh, I am really skew, aren't I? It's okay. Um, this one's going to be less than perfect. But perfection is an illusion. I don't really, especially when, I, oh man. Okay, you know, sometimes you want to just be a little straighter. So let's see if I can, yeah, I don't want to lean over too much because then you see the top of my head. And no one wants to see my noggin. Um... It's an okay noggin. I just don't think you want to see my noggin. This, this big old head of mine. Alright, so. There you go. So now, when you open it up, you can see that there's this sort of... Should we... Look at that. <laughs> I've got a double fold. It's okay. Um, you've got sort of little blocks. Chev not chevron, but little block... Um, pattern going on here. Now I could do the same with the yellow. 
I've got a blue, a green, a pink. We we'll do, could do the same with all of them. But for today, I'm just going to do this one to give you an idea. And this is where the fun part comes in. So you get a little bit of coffee, mix it up. And you know what? I also tried to make some coffee because I use the dollar store coffee. And it can be a little thin. And I tend to um, have to go over and over my papers sometimes. Ugh, splatter. Um, to, to really get that sort of coffee stain, especially if it's a coloured paper like this. Oh, and by the way, you guys, this is a 60 gram, I think your printer paper is 20 or 24. This is a 60 gram cardstock. Now, I don't know if printer paper would hold up with this kind of folding and then wetting the paper. I think it might tear. So you probably would need to have, have something that has a little more weight to it, like the 60 pound cardstock. That's all we're going to do. Now, when it dries, um, a lot of the coffee is going to seep into where I have made the paper more vulnerable with by folding it. And really kind of, you know, if you have a bone folder, really go and get those creases in there. And I'm going to set this aside. It's going to take it a little while to dry. And bring in one that's already dry. So you can see that I did do the coffee on both sides. You can see that my coffee is not very strong, so it doesn't go into the creases too much. And um, I could go back and put more coffee on this. Um, or not. It really doesn't. It's, it's your choice. What I prefer to do is to get my ink out and to go back on those folds. Go back on the folds, get them back in, and then age them like you would with any other corners or edges. So um, I may have to go in individually, actually. It worked on my previous one. It's not going to work on this one. So we just go in and age. Age these edges. And get them really nice and pronounced. There you go. Alright, and then flip it so we can do the, oh, wait, no, what am I saying? Not flip it. Nah, no. Scratch that. Edit. Where's my editor? Oh, wait, I can't afford one. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, I am the editor. That would be me. But I don't know how to edit stuff out yet, so I'm still learning. It's okay. I'll get there. So we want to get all these little bits and pieces. You see already the line there, how nicely it's pronounced. So that side, yes, I definitely don't think printer paper would hold up to any uh, to as much abuse that I'm putting this paper through. So um, I don't recommend using printer paper. Um, but, you know, you can try. You can maybe try some of the thicker printer papers. I don't know. I get the feeling, though, that it will tear on you because you, you're manhandling this quite a bit and folding it over and over again. And at some point, I mean, even this one, where is that tear? Even this one here, do you see? Started, it tore up on me a little bit. So... I don't think that you're going to be successful. But hey, you know, there is no rule book that says you can't do it. So if you want to, you go right ahead. So I think I'm going to leave it there. I, you do get the idea, right? You get the idea of what, what I'm doing <clears throat> and how, 
how I've got make the patterns with the coffee first just to dull some of the brightness of the um, of this very very bright cardstock and also then to give you a, a reference of where to fold again to put to age up the lines there's only three left let's just do them I can just do them I'll be quick and they get shorter and shorter as we go so they'll be quick let's do it all right and second to last one <clears throat> this is a real shorty okay and last one ha we did it you guys we got them all done i was thinking i wouldn't get this done all right so there you go actually that's nice i'm glad i did that now because now you get the full effect of what this page did i miss one i missed one no way you you didn't get away from me i got ya. my eagle eye saw you so you get the idea of what this will look like when you have coffee it folded it coffee stained it let it dry inked up all your creases and you have a beautiful piece of paper to start crafting with now there are some alternatives <clears throat> excuse me what i did with this one is i made my <clears throat> i'm so sorry what i did with this one is i made my um, little corner here. Remember earlier today, uh, earlier I said the first little triangle that size determines the width of all your all your folds, all the, the spaces between your folds. So I made this a little smaller and only went in this one direction. I didn't go from the from another corner. So I've just got these diagonal lines on here, which are going to look really nice once I've inked them up as well. And this honestly could be used in any way, just like you would with the little square folds, where I went in both directions. <coughs> you could do whatever you like. So that's going to look really nice once it's all done. So let us work on um, these examples that I've started. <coughs> now... Believe it or not, this came from one page. It it even it makes me wonder if I'm not fibbing to myself even, <laughs> because it's a lot. It's so much that you can get from just one page that um, that you treated like this. It's incredible to me. Now this guy is finished, and he's going to go into a journal and it's going to be a little side pocket where I can slip something. I'm just going to put some glue down the side and at the bottom put it on a page maybe in the corner and then I can put uh, tags or papers or whatever else I want in here and really all I did was I layered. I have some washi tape at the back, some music paper that I put edged with a gold pen, a gold paint pen and then on top of that I put a little bit of Composition paper, also aged it or highlighted it, framed it with a gold pen and a little 3D butterfly sticker. So that is that one done. Now this piece, <clears throat> these brads, um, I've never used them. This is going to be the first time I'm using them today. I picked them up on AliExpress and they are, oh, I just love them. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I only bought two little packets and I really want to go back and see if they've got more, maybe in different colours, maybe a different, maybe a gold, maybe a silver, maybe a pewter. I'm hoping, I don't know, I'm going to see, but I do love this bronze. And I really just, um, I, I actually, that's the other thing, is I did not cut anything here. I used my ruler. Um, let's see, I don't want to mess anything up. I used my ruler and just, I'm going to make pockets, so let me do that. Um, somewhat lined it up to see that I was 
straight and just tall. So I love that because all the rough edges will receive the ink better. If, uh, let me show you. So this is our torn edge. <coughs> just like the folded edge, it's really going to receive the ink beautifully because it's so rough and um, the fibers are just going to soak the ink in. So there you go. So with this guy, I've already made some holes and I'm just going to, oh, wrong one, wrong one. Oh, what happened? Oh, there he is. So I'm going to put this in. Now you'll see that it sticks out the top there. So I'm going to have to scoot it, scoot it around and maybe manipulate it a little bit so that, there you go. <coughs> oh, go. no, no, don't use the count. No, mm -mm. you, okay. No, there you go. Okay, gotcha. And then I have this lovely rub on sticker <coughs> that I'm going to Let's see if I can get this off. Oh, come on. Oh, there you go. I got that off. Am I in the middle? Kind of, maybe. Okay, I'm sort of in the middle. It's okay. <coughs> Let's get this. Oh, please don't mess with me. This is, I don't. One, two. Oh, maybe if I go down with my finger, it'll. This one's being stubborn. Why are you being stubborn? Don't be stubborn. It's too early in the morning and I only had one cup of coffee. Stubborn's not good. There you go. Oh, I don't know why. Maybe it's because the paper is... No, it's not. Oh, okay. No, no, it's okay. It's it's a common. It's a common. Go down, you silly. Good. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. I have these conversations with my stickers. I okay. I think. Let's see if now this is a, a mm, if it doesn't really work out too well. I can come in with my black pen and just yeah. So up top there, I see it went a bit wonky, but that's okay. I'll come in with my black pen and fix that up. Not a problem. So what this one will be is. Uh, this is just a little mini journal that I'm working on, but will that, it, so it's not going to fit in here. But in a bigger journal, I'm going to put it at the bottom of the page, and then it can be, it, it can hold whatever it is that you decide to put in there. I just think this is so cute. And it just has that steampunky, vintagey, I forgot you in a storeroom for 25 years look. <laughs> <clears throat> and now you're just gorgeous. I love you. This one is finished, um, but I realized when I turned it over that it's it's not so nice on the back. So I'm definitely going to have to put some coffee stain paper at the back here or some, some lined ruled paper, anything just to cover this up. But then otherwise that one is finished. <coughs> okay, so now again, I'm going to put in a little bread and just, oh. There you go. Another little bread. Now, here I thought, what if we layered this? So I'm going to see if I can put them equidistant, same space here as there, and <clears throat> there you go. And I'll have to glue it down. But before I do that, I'm going to do some... Oh, wait a minute. What if I bring it across a little and put her down here? Oh, yes, that'll look nice. Let's put her down first. This headless lady. <laughs> it is Halloween next week, so I guess we can have a headless lady. So we'll put her down. I'll scoot her all the way across just to make sure that she fits nicely. And I think if I just use my nail, it might be a little... This, this scissors... <coughs> 
it's maybe it doesn't have a sharp enough edge to it. I'll just use my nail to get her down quickly. Oh, but that hurts. <laughs> Changing my strategy. Uh, oh, and she is pretty much down. Yep, she's down. All right. And then, yeah. And then I thought, <coughs> let me glue this down quickly. I didn't pull out the my other glue, which actually dries a lot faster. It's the same make of this, same Aileen's glue, but the other one dries faster, and I pulled out the wrong glue. So I'm going to just have to be careful here now. Oh, man, you know what I should have done? Oh, anyway, I should have put all my stickers down first. That's okay. We'll work around it. We'll figure it out. All right, so that is done. A little bit skew. Let's... I'm sticking my head in the camera again, aren't I? I hope not. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to get the glue off my fingers so I don't stick to everything else. <clears throat> and then um, let me position these. Now, these are very small pieces of writing and um, they come off the same uh, sheet as this lady did um, and they're small but I kind of like that because I think when when the recipient whoever has this journal with this um, pocket in it is going to have to stop and really concentrate on these smaller little pieces of writing so it holds their attention and this one says Confidence is the new black, <clears throat> like a little black dress. This one says, I look pretty for me. And what's this one going to be? This one says, glow where you go. <laughs> glow where you go. Have fun. Okay, and color, is, color me fashionista. Oh, come off. Come are oh, you going to come off? No, you're not going to come off. You're giving me a hard time. No, don't give me a hard time. There. Okay. See, if you ask nicely, <laughs> the stickers will listen. Let's put this down. Down there. Now, uh, I'm going to just... You get the idea of what this is going to look like. And I think I'd like to come back later. Maybe put a bit of lace up here, or maybe put a bit of lace down the side there. I think that could look really nice. Um, I have, this is not, well, I could use this, I suppose. I can always make more, but maybe I could put a little, oh, yes. <gasps> yes, yes. This is what we're going to do with this one, for sure. Um, that just finishes it off for me, and then, because this is a double pocket, I'm going to be able to put something in here and something underneath and it's just going to be gorgeous. So definitely that is going to be, I'm going to steal, some, this wasn't meant for this, but I'm going to steal some because I think that will look just incredible. <coughs> oh, and this one's done and this one's done. And so we've just got these two little guys left. Now this I thought could be, because it was just this tiny little sort of off cut piece. So I folded it in half and I'm going to do that or that to it so maybe in a page where um, maybe in a this might look good I think it'll go with those colors um, I'm gonna cover something yeah probably so I can stick it in this little journal here maybe later I can put an eyelet in here with a, with a, a tassel or a tag or a dangle or a, um, a little key you know, maybe take one of these little keys a, a really small one and uh, make a little hole put a little uh, eyelet in here and dangle it off so that could look very nice I think that I'm gonna leave that there as a place no I want to show you that so I'll remember that that's where I want it and then the last one we've got here is also going to be a layer. 
um, <laughs> bring back my journal. Um, let's see, an empty page. Yeah, another empty page. I'm going to put that in sort of like that. Oh, like that. And then I can put something in there or I can put something in there. And <clears throat> But first, I'm going to put down this pretty little white. It's not a rose. What is that? I don't know what that is. It's not a rose. Nope, not a rose. It's a white flower. There you go. See, I'm clever. It's a white flower. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> okay. My uncle had a green thumb. <clears throat> and my mom too, actually. My mom was pretty is is pretty good at at gardening. Um, she designed our whole garden. Me, on the other hand, hmm. um, don't, uh, not so sure. Not as, I'm not as, I have a black thumb. Maybe, okay, maybe, maybe it's a brown thumb. Maybe not exactly black, black. But I don't, I don't have their talent in the garden for sure. Which is why I have no clue what this pretty little white flower is. Say, so, hey, anybody know? You can let us know in the in the comments what this little flower is. All right, you guys. Well, I think we are done. And I really appreciate that you spent this time with me this morning. I love the idea of taking something that I was a... Well, I did throw in the trash. <laughs> and um, then coming back to it and thinking, well, okay... Because everything deserves a second chance. You know, everything um, has beauty. I think I've said that before. And we just have to maybe not be as emotional about something, says me. But you really can revive something. And part of the purpose of my channel has been to show you how you can repurpose, recycle, upcycle and find ways to look at something that either that you think oh this is awful and make something really beautiful out of it and I feel like that's what we did today so thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate your time we'll see you in the next video bye